Hi everyone, it's Cindy and I am working on another Christmas journal. It's another um, little golden book journal. I had these covers already made from last year, so I thought I'm, I'm not storing them another year, that's crazy. I don't mind storing them as a finished journal that maybe doesn't sell yet in my Etsy shop, but just the supplies and stuff, no. So anyway, I'm working on this and um, I just added some lace here. The uh, This book is a little bit more worn than the other one I did and the pages, the original book pages as well. And I reinforced them with the spines of them with washi tape. So this one's just a little more, you know, like I said, worn. So I thought about putting the corners on there, but then I wanted to put the lace. And I thought, I don't know if you can put corners on there with lace. So I want to put the lace because I did not cut off the book pages any. So they t uh, come right to the edge and the ones that are further up in the signatures have a tendency to stick out. So now you can't tell that. So, well, maybe you can, but it's sort of disguised by the lace. So anyway, that's what I was doing. And I have already have a few things in here, not many, but one of them was this um, envelope here that's made out of a, it's a pocket made out of an envelope. And I, I kind of liked it because you could see through it here. You can see where it says this little golden book belongs to and the name is halfway covered up but if you wanted to you could get in there and you can really read the name so that's history is still there but you still use it have a pocket there so and also it says merry christmas um i love you ms weddle weedle so this is obviously with someone's christmas gift and you know she might have been their sunday school teacher or there's classroom teachers or something so anyway i don't know um okay let me make sure I know I'm surrounded by stuff. But that's just the way it is with me. Um, if I had a housekeeper standing on my shoulder and putting stuff up as I use it, then I would have a better, cleaner desk. But <laughs> that's not going to happen. So here we go. All right. I was flipping through here and I found this little envelope. I used this same envelope in the journal I just did and I collaged on the front of it. And what I should have done before I sewed it in, the signature was ink this edge because it's really hard to see it. So maybe that helps a little. So I was thinking before I turned the camera on, I would put a little piece of this napkin here. I have not pulled yet the kit, a kit for this um, journal. And if you've um, watched any of my other videos, you've heard me yak about this kit I made last year. Um, maybe we'll do this little birdie over here by himself. I just have my water pan and I'll try to get some water out of it. Okay, there we go. Um, I made kits out of all my leftover supplies because I just had so many of them. And um, I just pull them out whenever I do a journal and I use those those kits for embellishments, mainly embellishments. Well, this napkin is from the kit I just pulled. So I don't even need the other kit yet. I have so much stuff left over. So, okay, if we just put that there, we'll find something else to go in there maybe. Glue stick, glue stick, glue stick. I have stuff everywhere. Oh, like I didn't already mention that. And the problem with that is you lose your glue. Now, I know I have my uh, art glitter glue in the living room yesterday, and I actually remembered to bring it in. I was hoping I had a glue stick open. Maybe I do. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, I'm just going to kind of go around. And my book weights are hidden under here. This one out. It's my railroad tie. Oh, not tie. Let's see. Spike. Railroad spike. Tie is the big piece of lumber that goes under the rails. I think I'm right about that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what else to put on there. I don't want to put anything really thick. Uh-oh. Now I lost my lid. It just show up. <laughs> I did go through and I have these um, plastic takeout things. And this has a lid right here somewhere. And this one, the lid's attached. So I kind of put my little decorating bits in here and my focal points on here. So I did kind of, you know, decorate, a I mean, clean up a little. Oh, there's my lid. See, I told you it would show up. If I just talk enough, it would show up. So, um... You know, a real stamp might be cool there. And I had one the other day. Okay, I had all those stamps. Here's that lid to that one bowl. Let me put it up there. Here we go. Stamps. And we got a bird. Let's see if we can find a Christmas bird, maybe. There's a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh. Okay, 
teddy bears. They're all teddy bears. Okay, maybe we won't get, what's this? It's a whole bunch together. There's a sleigh, that's cute. Can we use a sleigh there? The colors are a little bright. Okay, I'm not gonna take all day on this, I promise. Um, here, let's just do this. Well, it's hard to say that Santa one, but it's bright colors in here. Let's do this wreath. Okay, okay, okay. It kind of, uh, so when we find something, we make sure it works. So we say, oh, it kind of goes well with the greenery already on this envelope. Just peeling off most of the paper around it. Okay, and I think last journal I said I, I had some red ink. I hadn't dug it out yet, so I finally dug it out. But you know what? It's more pink. <laughs> so, I don't know. What do you do? I think, I'm pretty sure I have a Tim Holtz red, but I haven't dug that out yet. Okay. All right, so that collages that up a little bit, and we'll find something to put in it later. Okay, get the lid on. Okay, when in moving my um, craft room from one, okay, don't let that stick down, from one um, room to the other, I did not find my big bottle of our glitter glue with the metal tip. So I'm gonna go with my original thought was it fell in the trash. Okay. I don't want that to stick. I'm going to put this. We'll see if that works. It's shiny. It's a little slick. Okay. I already put something in there, but we'll come back to that. We're putting pockets. Definitely could put a pocket here. Now, I have options. I have the sweater, which doesn't look, doesn't look bad there because it's got that background around it. So let's do that. And I probably can use glue stick on this. Let me get a something to glue under it. There we go. Okay. So anyway, I just, this is going to be a, like a craft with me video. I'm just going to put pockets in. I am trying to keep myself busy. My daughter and her friends flew to New York City last, yesterday morning. They left Tulsa at 5.30 in the morning. Had a four hour... Oh, a layover in Washington, D.C., which um, I think they were probably too tired to do anything. They just sat there in the airport and ate and slept. But anyway, finally got to New York City. I'm not even sure what time. She she let me know, but I can't remember what time it was. Let me make sure I'm still in frame when I shove this off. Um, so anyway, the reason for going, they wanted to go see Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. So they did that. And then today they're just kind of hanging around the city a little bit. And then um, flying out tonight about 5.30 their time. 4.30 my time, so I'm trying to keep myself busy, not thinking about that. Because, um, you know, I'm from Oklahoma. Um, <laughs> you know, New York, I, I remember, I've been in New York, and I just remember my overall thoughts was I felt like I was inside all the time. The buildings were so tall. It's like, where's the sky around here, you know? So anyway, um, I know they're having a great time, but you know, the flying and the walking around the city, all that just makes me a little nervous. So anyway, I'm trying to keep busy and I'm yakking when I'm doing it. So, okay, here's a white page. We could stencil on it or we could put some ribbon stuff. I think I've been doing that. Yeah. Went through the other day and I just put little scraps of ribbon on pages and some, um, uh, what do you call those things? Snippets. And then there's some glittery um, things, border things. So let's just keep up that theme. And I have this ribbon I got from somewhere. And, well, you know where. Craft store. I mean, not craft store. Thrift store. And it's Christmassy colors. So let's just glue it. Oops, I'm losing my thing. Stay up there. Um, let's just glue it down here. And then you still have all that writing space. And we're not going to worry about... Um, covering up white space or anything. We're just leaving it for white space. Oh my gosh, for writing space. And also, I it's kind of a little frayed on the end of that, which I'm going to keep because I kind of like it. So there we go. All right. Is this the full length or did I cut it a little short? Pretty much the full length. All right, okay. She's 
She sent pictures last night. I told her I wanted a picture of her with the marquee or whatever they call it now. This is Family Opera because um, I think I told this story before. Um, when she was little, like third grade, she and I went to see Phantom of the Opera, and it was in Dallas, Forming Arts Center. And I said, no one can imagine how excited she was. I mean, I was so glad we had she had an aisle seat because she was up and down and whispering to me and just just antsy excited excited about that show. And she says it's what made her decide she wanted to be in drama. And <clears throat> so I said, okay, I want you to take a picture of you with that marquee so we can mark <laughs> this is where it all started except we started in Dallas so anyway I had a friend that told me that that was in Dallas that day and I I blame her for the price of the tickets I had to pay <laughs> I said um you know after when I was started going through the process of do I want these seats or that seats by the time I found out the price of the tickets I was committed I didn't care but um I'm I'm going to have to ask Amy how much her tickets were at Broadway because I'm wondering if they're about the same amount. I have this gold stuff, which is like detailing stuff you put on a car. So, you know, it's gold, so let's use it. So here's a page we can put it on. Just a little trim like that. And I'm going to try to cut it down. I can trim it off later if I get it too long. As a matter of fact, I'll cut it too long because this is pretty... Uh, tedious stuff to work with because it's one of those things once it's down it's down so my um hopefully you can't see them too close my fingernails are just a disaster um i don't know what is it <laughs> why does it happen um it's not like i've been doing any stringers work. i think this comes off this is sticky is it not I guess I might get Oh, there goes my dog. What's he barking at? I think you can see out the front. Something out the back? Oh. You know what? I'm going to turn the camera off. Go see what's up with my dog. Get this unstuck, and I'll be back. Just a second. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. I went in there, and he was sitting... Facing the backyard, so he smelled something, a uh, rabbit or something going through. It's pretty much the closed area. You have to, in order to get back there, you have to walk behind all the houses. So um, I don't think it was anybody, even though I did see some kids on a four wheeler the other day go through there. Oops, uh, that's crooked. And I thought, and you guys don't know, there's all sorts of stuff gets washed in through there, so you gotta be careful. Okay. And, okay, let's see. Let's trim this off. Get some scissors that are not quite so long. Okay. Okay. So that's something. I think that was in that kit. It, may, it wasn't in the kit. It was in the tub of decorations. Okay. Um, still flinging pieces of it. All right, let's address this guy. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Always on both sides of this. On the other side, he is, uh, it's music. And I had this in the other book, but it's the words to the songs, I think. Yes, except that's not, in, yeah, it's in English and something else. So anyway, um, on this signature, which I one, I think it was the first one. Okay, maybe that's dry now. Um, Right here we had the words angel we have heard on high and then he had a, there was another picture here so i covered it with scrapbook paper so you can definitely can write on that so let's cover is there one in i guess there's one in each signature nope that's the one i just had okay i was working in the second signature so let's see what kind of scraps i have on my scrap let's see if we can cover that with something that maybe it's not say that you can write on, but it doesn't have to be. We can put something on it. I'm looking at the scrapbook paper. I've got a little bit of everything in here. Scrapbook paper. We can cover it with some music, because it is music. Here's some more scrapbook paper. Okay. Music. Let's get this out. 
full pages of music. Okay. Okay. Um, this is not Christmas music. But I guess as long as it's not, you know, something really bad, any of it would work. It would be great if it was Christmas music, though. You know what? I think I'm going to wait on this and see if I can find some Christmas music and glue it on that. So, moving on from that idea. Okay. Right, here's this. Now, here's the embellishments. I, well, hang on. Let's go in here. Because I have some in here, too. <laughs> have some everywhere. Um, these are the ones I got from Caroline's Musings. And... I think that's cute, but it's going to blend too much. So let's grab some of that music we just got rid of. Or book page. I don't think I have any fun book page around here. I need another weight. Grabbing it. Okay. So just a piece. I'm going to glue it on here and then I'm going to tear around it. How's that? Okay. Oh, I don't know what I was saying. Um. Whatever. Yes. This thing is almost empty. Okay. So, like I said, hope you're crafting along. <laughs> because it's kind of chaos. Always with me when I'm on film. I don't know why. I'm just not comfortable about finding things and decide, making decisions on film. Or on camera. Or on video. Whatever it's called. Okay. Let's put this in the middle of this music. And then let's try to tear around it. It's pretty brittle, so that's it tears very easily. And this um, pocket was made from a bag, and it was in the ephemera bundle that I bought from that lady whose name I still haven't found. Um, anyway. One of these days, I'll find it, and I'll put it in the description box. But she was on Etsy, and Gail had her on a um, Etsy share. Okay, I'm going to take a minute. You guys keep crafting. I'm looking for that red, if I have it, Jim Holtz. No. There's my dog again. There's a different green. I don't know if I'm getting any better or not. It's not there. Okay. So then it's on the drawer. See, I have this red, but that's old. I've had that, I don't know, or it's probably my daughter's, who knows, from years ago. Here's gold. Okay. Here's another green. Okay. I don't see red, but I'll go with the different greens. We'll see how that works. Let's try, that's the red I have. Let's try the gold. Who knows? And of course I don't have a clean stamp thing. I do somewhere. <laughs> oh yes, I know I need to use stuff up. Yeah, there's just a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure you probably, guys probably can't see it. Maybe a little bit, but my paper's so brittle, I don't wanna Go too hard on it. Okay. All right, gluing it on. I like those, um, that kit from, she, I actually bought seven kits from her. Just really, I mean, do you say muted colors? But yeah, just pretty things, so. And even these are from her, so, yeah. I like those. Okay, so, I don't do anything on the back. Uh, 
I could put a part of a Christmas notepad. Let's just tear it in half. So are you guys doing any Christmas baking, cooking? Um, I'm gonna be on the road the whole time, so I'm gonna try to make a little bit of candy to take as my offering. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I just, ugh. here's the problem. If I make it, I'm the one that eats it. So I'm trying not to keep anything around the house because what little bit gets here, like I finally, put the last of the Halloween candy, which I had in that real pretty jar with a red ribbon on it. I'm taking it with me and I'm leaving it at somebody's house. So, um, I've tried to get everybody that's come in my door since then to eat some of it, but it's a lot left over. You know, we ate all the good stuff out of it. <laughs> you know how that goes. Okay. And then this is there. Okay. I'm, am I going in order? Am I jumping around? I don't even know. So, um, let me get my pockets. I think, I don't even know that this is all of them. Let's do something with this. That was a jumping ahead. Um, this is from that kit, Carolyn's Musings. So, let's just make it into the envelope that it is. And decide where to put it. And these little golden book journals, they're fun because you can just, you know, do about anything. And let's see. Let's decide how far I've come up with that. Because there isn't a line though. Um, so I don't I'm not worrying about oh I did snowman and Santa and oh look it's muted green instead of bright green. I'm not worrying about any of that. Do I want those to show like that? Or it's made I think to be like that. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Stay over there. Don't need this. Well, actually, I'm going to. Let me put it over here. Ah. And then let's try to fold this. There. I'm sorry for the loud noise. Okay. Oops, almost dropped it. Put it up. Stay. I was making, um, decorating some blanks, tags and things last night with just some leftover things. And I, thought, I have stuff from so many different kids. I, I had marked on the backs of them, like some graphics fairy, some stuff from G Kerr. And I thought, I'll never remember all that. So I'll just try to mention their names. Because, uh, um, you know, I don't even know if their stuff will get on this film, this video or not, but at least... Um, I'll try to mention their names. Okay, this is the better green, I think, than I was using. It's more of a Christmas green. And it's definitely got some brown still in this dauber, so. Oh, that may have made that worse. It kind of goes with the sparseness of the green there. Okay. That's dirty enough. We'll put it in a journal. I could back that, though, make it a little... What with though? I'm not worried about it. If my paper was thicker, thinner, <laughs> I mean, is that too much? Yeah, we're just gonna put it on. Okay, don't want it. I could put it on something like that. It will fit like that. And I can make it a belly band. How's that? Yes, we're doing that. I'm not going to stress all over it anymore. Okay. Uh -huh. Stay there. Now let's see if I can find another. I have 
Here's all these I made. I just did a bunch of them, pretty much the same. That's tissue paper with a, uh, a sticker from Dollar Tree, or Cupcake. Okay, this one's not decorated. We've done that. I have this. Haven't done anything with it. I did do one in here though, I think. Did I? Did I put it in? Oh boy, I know I made one. I don't know if I glued it in. I glued this in last night. It's an envelope that uh, decorated there, decorated there. These freebies were from, oh gosh. Those were from, not a, they were from Jessica at Paper Terrace. She sent me those. Okay. Uh, I glued this on. This was something I bought a long time ago when you punch out all those little things. And you have to glue it on. It's not a sticker, but just a decoration. So I'm pretty sure I did one of these. I don't find it right now, but I'll keep this in front so we'll know to revisit it. All right, let's look at these two, three things. Okay. Oh, here it is. I didn't put it in either, but I made it. Oops, sorry. Okay. So I used, finally, from last Christmas, my um, hot glue gun with the wax and the little stamps. I finally got, got it out and used it, and I used that, made it as a closure. It makes this pretty heavy, though, so that's one thing to consider. And I made a pocket here, and then here I used a notepad, and the things I wanted were right at the top and right at the bottom. So I cut the papers. Instead of, I didn't have room to fold some scrap of paper over it or something, so I just glued it down. I glued each page to each other. And I could have stapled it, except, you know, getting the staple up that high. So anyway, I put a little notepad there. We have a pocket there. So this is something we can put in. And I don't know how durable these wax things are. It could break off eventually. I don't know. But it's there for now. Okay, and then I was practicing, and I need to repair some of this. Yeah. I was practicing weaving on an envelope. Well, not necessary. Because then you get, it's open in the middle which I don't want it to be because then the tags will catch uh, as they go in. So just putting it on a regular piece of paper is better because now I'm going in and I'm gluing down the weaving to the um, envelope here so it doesn't come apart. Okay. Then I'll have the pocket seat here in the back, which it has a thing that needs to be glued down too little flap thing sticking up so I bought some um Christmas cards I liked them that's you know but they were such cheap envelopes I mean I'm talking one step above tissue paper I knew I wasn't going to send those to the mail so I traded them out and I thought well that'd be something I can make this pocket on well it's really not the best this is the pocket I made out of wrapping paper and put it on some other paper and I stitched around it and then this is leftovers. Um, oh, no, it's not. It's tissue paper. You know, like you put on your gift, gift bag stuff. And I put it on book page, and then I put it on an envelope. Probably the end of this one. No, it's not. And then I had this rope left over, so I glued that on there. So that's a cute pocket. So we got four pockets, so let's put them somewhere. Okay. Uh, let's go to the back signature. I don't think I've done much there. You know, I don't like using up the white space, but I might. I was going to. Let's just put it down. I have to finish this journal today because I know I won't get Christmas journals done in time for people to buy them for Christmas, but I just want to get it done before I leave for Christmas. It's another envelope. We can put this one on there with all the colors that go with all these colors. The last one, I wouldn't put anything on the white pages. On this one, I'm doing it a little different.
cover up that. So that looks great on that page. Just a Christmas card. Fuzzies there. Okay. I still gotta figure out where I'm putting this puppy. See, here's where I put something else on a page. And this was from that lady whose name I can't remember. I'll find it someday. It's here somewhere. Anyway, um, she, this is tissue paper. She ruffled it up, put rickrack on it. So I don't know how she did all that. <laughs> it would take me like three steps. Well, two steps. Ruffled it up and then rickrack and then it's zigzagged on there. Oh, so cool. So anyway, there's a piece of that in that kit. Such a bargain, that kit. Okay, I want to put this here. It's on the back page. So, or maybe I should put it at the front. Let's think this through. Put it at the front so that bump there will be mainly out of the way for the rest of the journal. You can be writing on all these pages and that bump would be folded over. So let's put it here. And I know the pages are stark white and I should probably ink around them, but I can just do that off of camera. So I'm gonna put this on as a belly band and Something can be put behind it. Okay. Let's see what time it is. Twenty minutes plus I had that other video, so okay. Uh, go just a smidge and longer. Did I put all those things up that I got out? I think I did. Okay. Let's put weights on that. Get the spike out. Okay. I'm not going to use this since I already have one. Here's a pocket I made just out of scraps, too. Oh, and here is a belly band I made. So, not belly band. Fabric flip. So, I kind of want that to keep gluing. So, I got to cover up that guy right there. Oh, I gotta find that music. That's right. That's what I'm gonna do with that. Nope. Here, let me put that there. Because there's nothing else on this white page. So I think I can move this now. Just a little one. Just a little fabric flip. Nope, nope. <sighs> So I will probably have this one finished before I ever have to dig out one of those other kits. And that's just because I'm using from the last kit plus all the stuff I accumulated over the year that never made it into the kits. So, yeah. That's how much stuff I have. I'm, I'm serious about it. Okay, let's find a place for you, little mister. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have to cut a divot out of that. I'll never get that open. Okay, it's really thick, too. Get my well chill in there. Come on. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in there. Well, isn't this fun to watch? Oh, I'm putting it... I'm aiming for the wrong thing. There we go. Barely can see it. Is this gold green again? I'm sorry, clanging and banging. Okay, like that. Okay, let's see. Let's put it here. I don't really like that background there, so let's cover up as much of it as we can. But that page on the other side is fabric. It's kind of like a, I think it was probably a, a curtain panel. 
I just glued it to some um, eight and a half by eleven paper. You probably can't see the texture on it, but it can. You can glue something on it. But I'll just let whoever gets this journal decide if they want to put pictures or whatever on it. Okay. See so here it is again. Okay. I have these made out of six by six paper. And this is one of that lady's as well. It's an envelope and then it's got this little journal card in there. It comes out and it decorates it, which is a pretty cool idea. So maybe I'll put this here. And do I glue the flap down? I think I well, I could put something behind it. Okay. It can be glued down later. Whoever gets it wants to glue down the flap, they can. So I'm going to make it into a pocket. If I can get the glue on it. <laughs> okay. Put it right in the middle. Okay. There's that paper again. Fabric paper. Okay, this, I think I was just messing around. Somebody was showing something. And just makes a tall, skinny envelope. Which, let's glue the envelope shut. Come on, just use your... Okay, come on. There it comes. Like I said, I think it's getting low. Put it on both sides here it helps there not be a flap sticking out. Oh, that's an off-centered little <laughs> divot. We'll just pretend like we meant it to be that way. Yes, I did. I think I used black on this dauber before. I don't mind it, though. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on there, and we'll have a tall, skinny tag of some sort. And we can also put it on there sideways, and we can make it a sideways belly band. Let's just do that. things to weigh down. I think. Nope. Okay, I'm going to turn the video off since I know it's been a while. And I will, next time you see this, it may be finished. I don't know. I'm going to go through my little thing of envelopes. Like, here's one that's put on a, you know, it's an envelope. I said, I'm going through my thing of pockets. There's an envelope. I have some CD things that have uh, you master things in there. Here's, oh, that's cute. A pocket, a french fry bag I just did napkin and some collage on. So I've got some things to work with. I'll pull them out. You'll see them if I do, as I do the flip through. And I don't, I doubt I video anymore because I need to get this done. And I don't even know if I'll, I guess I will put it in my shop if I get it finished in the next two days. I don't know, I'm yakking. Um, that way it is in there before Christmas. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.